Hello and welcome to Thursday's Daily Financial Digest. And here's what's making the headlines in the markets today. The dollar-yen pair has fallen 0.4% in the last session. The ATR has gradually diminished into the low volatility zone. The price of gold has added 0.5% in the last session. The highs-lows indicator is picking up speed and is currently neutral. Bitcoin has lost 1.5% in the last two sessions. The RSI shifted into the neutral zone. The Aussie dollar pair has gained 0.2% in the last session. The ATR has warmed up and is now giving a high volatility signal. Coming up, the choices from our chief analysts for today. Zoom is fighting back against Microsoft Teams and Google Meet with a bunch of game-changing features. The Australian Central Bank does not see a strong case for issuing a retail central bank digital currency, its head of payments policy said. U.S. consumer prices increased for a fourth straight month in September, with the cost of cars and trucks rising by the most since 1969, but inflation is slowing. Those were today's major economic events. And now, moving on to world financial headlines. The Eurozone's reserve assets total will be released at 800 GMT, the U.S. continuing jobless claims at 1030 GMT, the U.S. initial jobless claims at 1030 GMT, the Canadian ADP non-farm employment change at 1030 GMT, the U.S. natural gas storage at 1230 GMT, and the Japanese national CPI at 2130 GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed Thursday's market outlook. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to join us tomorrow morning for the latest news and events from the financial markets. <music>